All right, guys, this is what I'm doing. I've got about 36 feet of headroom going through water. Toxic water at that. Oh, falling, falling, falling. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this without filming. Um, I've got two flashlights, GoPro going. Jeez, I am so stupid. So we have this open mine right here. It has one header that goes this way and it stops right about here. And it has a small little adit that you can uh, climb under in theory and reach that mine right there. Now we've explored the entirety of this mine directly here to see if there was a way in without going under that small adit, but there's not. So that's the only way that we can potentially access this other mine. So that's what we're doing this morning. It's a long shot, it's a dangerous shot, but nonetheless, it's a shot. So we're gonna see what we can do. All right, man, I'm going in. Now this right here, this is what I have to go under. And you can see, not one of the smartest things that I've done. That's why I've removed my, uh, my pack. Um, because what we are going and looking at You know, this could potentially lead to a uh, another drift mine that hasn't been seen in over a hundred years. And then this stuff could come down on top of me and you could potentially not see me for more than a hundred years. All right. So, the goal is I'm gonna have to get wet, which is no problem. I am not worried about getting wet. The water seems like it is up pretty high, so. Right there is where I need to go. Let me see the easiest way that I can do this. All right, so the curvature, this right here is gonna be the access point. Let me try a little bit. All right, guys, this is what I'm doing. I've got about 36 feet of headroom going through water. Toxic water at that. Oh, falling, falling, falling. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this without filming. Um, I've got two flashlights, GoPro going. Jeez, I am so stupid. Sir, um, so I've got about 36 inches of headroom and yeah, I haven't gone yet. Um, I'm letting my balls acclimate to the water. So yeah, as soon as my balls retreat up into my stomach, um, I'm going to press on. 
Yeah, give me just a few. So you definitely don't try this at home. Except the bad thing about it is, we don't have any maps that will show if this connects to the other mine or not. This is what I do for fun. All right, guys, I'm going to try to press on through here. See all these timber props. I'm not sure they're doing much, but on the other end of the spectrum, I still don't want to bump into them, just in case they are. This could just end up being a stope, an addict that doesn't connect to the to the other mine. Nope, looks like just a big 
area where they mined. Doesn't look like it connects. Dang. That sucks. So yeah guys, so that was uh that was the plan to go under this small opening to in theory reach a new mine. Um we are working without maps. We cannot lo locate any maps to this mine. But on the surface, there is one that's uh, to the side of it. And it seemed like this first right header and the one that we went inside, if we pushed through this attic, Potentially, could have connected, but unfortunately it didn't. I don't want to talk too loud, you see that fracture. Super dangerous. This will get your heart pounding. So what I'm doing is, since I've been in a lot of these mines, I didn't take any glow sticks. What I'm doing is following the muddied up water back. Um, Stand up. Good God, that was sketchy. That was very, very sketchy anyway, so, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think I gave it a valiant effort. And, you know, luckily we've got a few more mines in the area. We're just gonna check those out. Okay, so this, this right here is the mine that I was trying to access. That is the mine that we went in. So I take that first right at it. So I'm traversing underground, going through maybe about 36 inches of headroom. And I'm probably ended somewhere right about here. I think very, very close to this mine. But I saw no opening or nothing, at least the area that I traversed that was gonna connect.